Now, friends, I want to tell you what it means to sell your soul to the devil. Have you ever heard people who have sold their souls to the devil? And others, they are regretting it and they are wondering, how can I get out from this? What happened? Where is my problem? Oh God, I can't come out. Have you heard celebrities crying and weeping and mourning and saying, I wish I never got into this for fame and money? And then you keep on asking, but they live a good life. But these people, they are celebrities. We love them. Look at them. Look at the fame. Look at the money. Look at the wealth and look at everything. Why are they saying this? My friends, I know there is a trend right now which is going on. People really want to be rich. People want to be rich and they want to have a good life and they want to do whatever they feel. But now, let me explain to you something. When you find yourself losing your soul, it will be a point of regret. Now, first and foremost, let me tell you what it means to sell your soul to the devil. And let's start by defining what is a soul. A soul comprises of three things, okay? A soul is your personality, and it comprises of three things. One, it comprises of the mind, the free will, and your emotions, okay? The mind, free will, and emotions. Now, your mind is the ability to think, the ability to make uh, decisions, okay, of your own. Emotions is the ability to have empathy, to have care for others, the ability to feel ashamed, the ability to be able to see this is not right, this is right, and to feel, you know, that God-given consciousness, okay, of right and wrong. And then we have the free will, the ability to make a choice, a decisive choice, that I don't want to do this, I want to do this, it is my choice to do this or to do that. And when you lose those three things, your mind, free will, and emotions, you have lost your soul, all right? You have lost your soul. And uh, my friends, one thing you need to understand is that losing your soul is a very big deal because when you lose your soul, you can never get it back. And when you lose your soul, it's going to be very difficult for you to even be able to hear God or connect back to God because God is looking for your soul. God wants you to love him. He wants you to, you know, put your mind into his things. He wants you to reverence him and to choose him, all right? That is exactly what God wants you to do. But then if you lose your soul, then my friends, you've lost it all, okay? You have lost it all, okay? Now, let me keep on explaining. Now, how does someone lose his soul? Several things that you need to understand. Someone loses his soul when he gets in deep into wickedness, when he starts uh, doing whatever he can be able to do. Uh, in search for fame and money, people get into contracts and into agreements. And uh, some people, you will hear a musician had uh, been working and doing music and all of a sudden, he has gotten this very huge deal, which is paying him millions, only that he can sign a contract and have everything controlled by the record label. For example, you will hear this record label is controlling the way that guy dresses, the way he talks, his speeches, his music, he's uh, making the music for him the cars that he drives, the wife that he will marry. You know, it controls everything. So now, what have you lost in that case? You've lost your soul. You've lost your mind, free will, and emotions. Even the lady that you'll marry, you're supposed to be emotional with someone that you love. This person has to be chosen by the record label for the purposes of trending, for the purposes of being relevant in the society and things like that. So the emotional part of you is gone. The free will, the ability to be able to make a choice. I want to drive this car, not this one. The record label you choose for you. The ability to be able to have a mind of your own, to make decisions, to say, I want to make this song, not this song. That one goes. What does that mean? You have lost your soul. It also happens in football, uh, 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 football clubs. You see somebody has signed a huge deal. And he cannot mention the name of Jesus. He cannot do this. He cannot wear this. And some of these people, even Hollywood celebrities and people like that, you will look at them and you say, why is this person behaving so weird? 
All of a sudden, this man is wearing dresses. All of a sudden, this person is doing this and this and this. It is because they can no longer control their free will, their mind and their emotions. It's been taken over. And some people, there are also other people who sell their souls for almost nothing, my friends. For example, most people in the society today have sold their souls for social media. You cannot survive without it. It has taken your mind, emotion, and free will. You cannot think without it. You have to wake up in the morning, scroll and scroll and scroll, and you can't get away from there. Some other people are losing their souls because of alcohol. You cannot get yourself out from alcohol. Whenever somebody calls you, hey, let's go and party, you're always there. Others have lost their souls because of politics. Others have sold their souls because of women and... Uh, and, uh, and um, others pornography and and, and the things like that and, and you wonder and you ask yourself people they only think that you sell your soul so that you can go and buy something and you can have money but let me tell you one thing the bible says where your heart is or where your treasures are is that is a place where your heart will be and if your treasures are in the things of this world you will end up losing your soul and jesus said what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul what shall a man exchange for his soul? What can you be able to say? I've exchanged my emotions, free will, and mind, my personality for nothing. If now you're given a car, you're given this, you're given that, but at the end of the day, you cannot have your own mind to think in your own way. you become a robot, my friends. And that's why you see most of these celebrities, most of these influential people, even politicians, most of them, that's the reason they go to those places of power. And all of a sudden, they have sold their souls. And what happens? They start becoming people without empathy. They, they, used, to be, they used to have humanity. All of a sudden, there is no humanity in them anymore. They just hate people. They just think about stealing and stealing and making all sorts of wrong decisions. Why? because they lost their souls. My friend, if there's something you need to protect with all that you can, is your soul. Protect your mind. Do not indulge into things. And some people lose their souls unknowingly. You find yourself, you start watching some horror movies, all of a sudden, you're continuously afraid. You're continuously getting into things that you do not understand. You're continuously brainwashed. And you start behaving like a zombie. You start behaving in ways that you cannot understand. Most of the people you hear, they are suicidal. It's because they lost their souls to different situations. Some knowingly, others unknowingly. But there's one who breaks all chains. Jesus Christ. If you think that, I think I'm losing my soul because of something. I think I'm losing my coordination. I cannot think straight. I cannot do things the way I'm supposed to do. Seek God. He says that there's no chain that he cannot break. God can break every chain. He can take you out from every pit hole that Satan is trying to cast you. And remember, Satan has blinded. He is the God of the world. And he has blinded the people that they'll never see this truth so that they can be saved. And that they will lose their souls into parties and money and discourse and all sorts of things. And they indulge and indulge and indulge. Even others have sold their souls in food. People are eating crazy things and you wonder... How is this person eating metal? How is this person eating soil? How is this person eating some crazy snakes and things? And you wonder, this something must be wrong. It is because they sold their souls or they lost their souls in the craving for fame and money and all that. And that's why you will see people out online or uh, on TikTok and other places behaving so weirdly naked. And they don't even fear. Why? Because they already lost their minds. They lost their souls. What shall you gain to lose your soul? What shall you gain? Because that is your personality. That is the real you. This body is just something which we host the soul, right? So my friend, do not lose it. God bless you and have a good time.